Hey everyone, my name is Nick Sulo. I'm an artist with a background in visual effects, working for the film and TV industry for the past decade. I'm also the co-creator of Exulo, that's known for creating the techno dystopia surreal artworks. In today's video, I want to show you all how to model a VR headset from scratch using some three basic tools within Maya. So let's go ahead and jump right in and check it out. All right, uh, now that we're in Maya, uh, I brought in this character from Daz 3D, just a basic bust model. Um, you know, a little facial hair and even a mohawk with a ponytail. Something uh, character that you can just kind of start building over on top of with the VR headset. So um, when I brought this into Maya, I just started modeling some basic shapes, some blocking in of the uh, headset. Got these kind of ear guards to cover the ears and then this side panel. And then we got this, this kind of front base panel. And then this would be kind of a front, uh, like a visor screen in front of his face. So super basic modeling uh, happening right now at this stage. And I'm just focusing on one side of his head. That way, when we start adding in all the details and finalizing the geometry and uh, we can just go ahead and just flop it and flip it and apply it to the other side of the head. No need to remodel everything and try and, you know, mimic what's happening. It's as simple as copy, paste, and flip. So let's go ahead. Uh, we can, at this stage, start adding in those nice, fun details. So, yeah, let's jump into it. The first piece I'm going to work on is the ear headphone section of the visor. So I'm just kind of using the bevel tool and extrude to kind of start building up the shape. I was thinking more box shape and keep that shape going, but since this is more of like an audio device, let's go with more of a, a cylindrical like shape to it. So I'm just building up, again, using the extrude and bevel tool, something basic and simple to give it some nice like volume and texture to it, something interesting, kind of appealing to look at eventually kind of maybe imagine like a wire going into the actual audio device. So it's keeping that in mind. And then what I also like to do is kind of give it some paneling feel to it. So some vertical and diagonal lines. And what I like to also do is I'm going to add in some like nuts and bolts and just little subtle details to kind of feel like it's like this cold, hard texture, uh, hard surface model. So I'm just going to add in a few nuts and bolts to the side of it. And then what we can do is eventually move on to giving it some nice shape to it. And since this sits on his head, I don't want it to feel so like hard angled. I want it kind of feels like it maybe wraps around his head. So it actually feels like it follows the anatomy of his, his actual face. And then I added in this vent. The vent will go in the back of the earpiece. So it's like a, a ventilation for air if the device gets too hot. And then uh, these pieces are more like kind of clippings, like since it's so surgical, like it was added to him during surgery. So it feels like it's kind of like a part of him and it was attached to his body. So I'm adding in, in just these little details just adds a lot to it. And I also imagine like some additional cables to the side paneling. So I'm making these cylindrical like shapes where these wires kind of go in and out of these pieces and then attaches, eventually attaches to the front of his visor. So what we'll go ahead and do is just start bringing in some cables and we'll add some new shapes to it, and something a little more organic. All right, now we want to create wires. These wires will probably connect from this back cylinder piece. So it goes into this, the earpiece and then to the front of the panel. So what I like to use is a script and I'll make sure to include a link to that script itself. And it's called J, uh, FB Wire Jumbler. Go ahead and open that up through the script editor. Go ahead and close that out. So what's cool about this is we can adjust like the quantity. How many wires do we want? So let's just go with three. And then the wire diameter, we might have to adjust, but it's, that might be too thick. So let's set that to one. That'd be how thick the, the wire itself would be. Pretty self-explanatory. Geometry type, I actually like to keep it at NURBS. That way, when we actually create the wires, we can further adjust them through the curve tool. So let's go ahead and jump into that and show you guys how it works. 
So what I like to do is create a sphere. And when I'm creating these sphere and why I'm doing this is I'm using these as like kind of like a guide to how the, the wires are going to shape and, and, and form. And so what I first do is create the sphere one and then duplicate and bring this out. And what this is going to act as like a guide for the, the uh, FB wire jumbler. So the wires actually kind of follow this path. So think of it as kind of like a path. So the wire will eventually kind of curve down, curve back up. And then it would eventually want to sit in place in the front panel. Let's create about seven spheres out of this. I think that should be good. So you can kind of see this one's tucked in to the side ear panel. And it'll go out and then the wire will follow this as a path. And that's uh, pretty much like step one. You want to make sure to have all spheres selected before uh, you hit make wires or apply. So let's go ahead. Settings look pretty good. We can make wires. So already the the wires, the, the wire diameter being at one is it's too thick. So let's go ahead and control control Z. Go back. Set this to I don't know. Let's say point four. Make wires. So it looks it looks a lot better. And then you minimize that. You can take these spheres and group them and then hide them. So you can really see what's going on here. Hit four so we can see the transparency. And you can see that it's going to be a little hard to select, but it's the, the curvature. They create these curves within the nerves. So we can actually go in here. And this is a great way to edit. This is why we want to go with nerves. Like I said, it's a great way to edit the actual path of the the wiring. So if we want, want the wires to kind of sit naturally, we don't want them to intersect like they are right now. So what we go ahead and do is adjust these wires as nerves and make them so they actually sit nicely in there. But for now, that looks pretty good. But yeah, let's go ahead and tweak those. So I'm making some final adjustments to the curve tool. That way the cables aren't intersecting too much. And then when we duplicate the curve, uh, the cables have some variety to them as well. So they don't feel so copy and paste. And then I'm going to finalize the front end visor, add it some paneling. So it kind of kind of wraps around his nose and then as well as some additional geometry details to that. And then we'll go ahead and uh, go back into the side panel and duplicate it and put it on the other side of his head. So at this stage, the uh, visor is pretty much almost done. But since we want to make a turntable out of this, I want to add in some additional details to the back end of his body. So I made these cables that kind of will go to this both side ear pieces, and then they'll kind of wrap around, and then the cables will go inside of his body on this back panel. Take these cables and then kind of tuck them inside of his body. So this is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and check out the turntable. So yeah, looking pretty good. Not too bad for creating something from scratch, the basic building blocks. And then using the extrude and bevel tool as well as the um, script editor when it comes to creating the wires. So this pretty much wraps up on creating the VR visor from scratch. And uh, definitely keep an eye out. There's going to be more tutorials to come on NVIDIA Studios. So definitely hit that subscribe and like button and we'll see you then.